Hello, Nuri. My name is Sean Everett. I'm the website analysis expert over at Zucor Marketing. Thank you so much for talking with Megan. She sent your website over to me for analysis. So uh, that's what I'm going to show you. I, in this video that you're about to see, I'm going to show you how you can get your existing website, this website right here, to get more customers online. I'm going to show you a couple of things you can implement today if you want. And I'll also be showing you one of your competitors and show you why they are beating you online and what you can do to turn the tables, ultimately. Now, uh, your website is is plain, um, and I, I mean that in the kindest of ways. Uh, it, it, it doesn't seem to have much interest for people who come here, which may be fine since it's commercial, industrial, institutional mostly. Um, and... Uh, I would also say that uh, the brevity is is not in your favor, but um, here's where it comes down to it. I'm going to show you this tool that I have. It's called Ahrefs, and it shows me a bunch of the metrics of your site and how it's been performing over the last couple of months. Now, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this Google search, and the reason that I'm doing that is because uh, most people don't know how Google works and not knowing how something works means that you can't utilize it. And most people don't know how to utilize Google. Now, uh, this is a, a very simple search, Miami, Florida, industrial roofing. Um, and uh, these are the results on this page here. I'm going to explain how Google works by explaining these results more or less. And the first thing I have to point out before I do anything is that Google has an algorithm that determines the placement of everything based upon what it finds in your site. And it's looking for three basic things. Um, now, the first uh, area here in this uh, results page is what they call the sponsored. And that means that those folks have paid to be up there. Now, there is nothing wrong with paying to be up there. I mean, it's a good strategy for some, uh, but it's also not for some. So, uh, you know, that's a personal issue that, you know, you can look at the pluses and minuses. But uh, here is the first thing that the algorithm is actually looking for. And that is they want you to be serious about being part of the Google family. So filling out a Google business profile is exactly what this is, what this is. Um, you know, people who have filled out a Google business profile and done it well enough uh, get to be up here in the map pack. Now, um, that is a, a good thing because they are near the top of a Google search, uh, but it is not the end all be all. What really is the end all be all is this down here. Below the people also ask is called the organic search results. Now, the only way that you can get in the organic search results is by having a website. That's it. And uh, you don't have to answer any questionnaires. You don't have to fill out the map pack if you don't want to. Uh, you can just have a website and uh, you'll be in the Google search results. But where? That is the issue. Now, I'm going to take Simon Roofing since they're the first uh, uh, contractor I found for commercial roofing. And uh, I'm going to show you their website. They say they are commercial roofing in Miami, but I see this multi-location service which makes me think that they are in a lot of different areas. Uh, I, I don't know how many, but, you know, for all I know, they are, you know, nationwide. But, uh, oh, what does it say down there? Fort Lauderdale. Okay, Orlando, Sarasota. Yeah, all right. So um, this is their website, and all they have to do to say that they are a M Miami commercial roofing company is to have it on the Internet, and that makes it true, unfortunately. Now, uh, uh, your website, I'm going to do something really fast here. I'm going to copy and paste this into this word counter. Now, uh, this word counter um, is going to tell me uh, one thing, and that is about content. i do the same for them. Uh, and content is something that is king at Google. And here is why. Um, uh, both of you, uh, well, this one comes up low too. Both of you are well below what Google actually wants you to have. And that is 1,500 words. Now, uh, 1,500 words was developed by Google because they want their search customers 
to be educated about whatever it is that they have typed into that Google search box, whether that be for academia, whether it be for looking for a commercial roofer, it doesn't matter to Google. 1,500 words is the minimum. Now, uh, uh, I don't know how they determined that was the number, but they did. But I can also tell you that all words are not the same. And now we're going to go back to that paid tool that I have, and we're going to talk about keywords. Keywords are words that belong in your industry. They're words that I probably wouldn't use ever and that you might use on a daily basis. Um, and uh, they uh, are what delineates your industry from that of, you know, like when I type in commercial roofs, your site is going to come up somewhere versus a dairy farm in uh, Wisconsin, for instance. But it's also words that come from your website and your competitor's website. So uh, your competitors have something to do with this also. It also comes from the communities you serve and it comes from Google searches. So there's a, a, about three different uh, uh, areas where keywords are taken from. Now, I'm going to show you what your competitor has at Simon Roofs. They have 3,100 versus your 93. I'm going to show you what they are. Uh, commercial roofing contractors. And uh, I want to show you this just so you know. The algorithm is stupid. It doesn't know anything. It doesn't know our language. It doesn't know singular and plural. It doesn't know that roof, roofing, and roofer are all uh, uh, related. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sort of judgment. Uh, it just looks for words. And it looks for them whatever, uh, you know, if the algorithm is determined that commercial roofing is, uh, you know, has 10,000 uh, uh, rating and this one has, you know, 9,999, then it's looking for both of them. And it's not going to say, oh, well, this one's here. I can add an S. No, it doesn't do that. And remember, it's looking for things in Japanese and Polish and Spanish and everything anyway. Um, so uh, commercial roof restoration, uh, it's going to seem like a lot of repetitive things. Oh, look, they're in Baton Rouge. That's that's why. 24-hour emergency roof repair. Um, roofing Orlando. It looks like they're probably getting a bunch of folks from the uh, residential area of the uh, country, too. Raleigh. Wow, they have a lot of different... Roofing jobs hiring near me. I don't know. Modified bitumen roof. I don't know what that means. Maybe that is something that's part of your industry, and I just don't know. Um, but you can see it's just a bunch of different words that have to do with either the location of the place or uh, uh, um, actually, you know, words that are unique to your industry. Um, and uh, I'll just show you another page if I can. It might take too long. Uh, wow, Seattle, they're all over the place. Um, I thought I might get some actual words here. Oh, this is interesting because uh, Compañía de Roofing Cerca de Mí is in Spanish, meaning that they are looking for Spanish people uh, to, you know, get their services. Smart move. So the next thing I'm going to show you is backlinks. Backlinks is where your site appears on someone else's site. Uh, currently, you have 49 backlinks on 18 different domains. The domains is what we're really looking at. Uh, the backlinks, uh, you should have about a double uh, backlinks what this number is, and you're right on course for that. So, so now it is time to show you your competitors. Here they are. They have uh, 1,900 backlinks with 228 domains. Now, uh, this is not an insurmountable number at all. I'm going to show you what their backlinks are. And the reason that Google is interested in backlinks, it's, it's sort of like they want you to be pre-vetted. They want to know that there are other people who have links to you, which makes you more legitimate. Now, uh, yellow pages, indeed.com is where they were apparently hiring. So that's why they're on that site. But yellow pages, uh, local.yahoo, super pages, that sort of thing. Um, those are good sites to have because they have a high domain rating. This is a scale of 0 to 100. And uh, this is the domain that shows the strength of a domain's backlink profile. Now, a backlink profile means that, you know, I described what a backlink is, is where your site appears on someone else's site. These sites have a lot of other sites that their link appears on. So that's why they have such a high domain rating. Your domain rating, by the way, is currently 12, which is really great for a, a company that's not Google or, or, you know, Wikipedia. Now, this is where it all comes down to. Um, you, you want to 
have enough uh, backlinks and keywords so that your traffic is is high and right now you have about 106 visitors uh last month and that's up 11 from the month before and here is what your competitor had at simon they had 3500 visitors that's up 660 from the month before now uh this is the result of this being at the top that is why they have so much traffic and uh, this is just money left on the table. This company that I work with does a lot of research for uh, industries and regions, and they figure that the value of this number of visitors was about $25,600. Now, uh, that's a fair chunk of change, and uh, it's something that I'm sure you would rather have than let them have. So <laughs> this is as simple as making a few tweaks to your website. Uh, and, and, uh, like I said, it, it, you want to land somewhere that is, uh, interesting to be at. You want it to be dynamic. You want it to be, you know, like somebody, uh, inviting you into their office and saying, Hey, look, we have a nice office. Come on in, talk to us. And, uh, this currently does not represent much of anything. Uh, in my view, I, I think that this photo would be a lot more interesting if it was up at the top. Um, but, uh, you know, maybe this is an aesthetic choice and I, I don't want to step on any toes. But uh, anyway, that is uh, the basis of this. And, and one final thing I'm going to do, uh, pinnacle roofing, I'm going to just scroll down until I find it. And I want you to think about your own uh, um, Google habits. Like when you uh, are Googling something, how far down do you scroll before you think to yourself, you know what, I probably have what I need and I can stop scrolling. I'll just deal with this and what's above it, you know, um, looking for whatever it is. Would you have continued to scroll this far looking for a commercial roofer? Uh, you know, you can answer that question and I can't hear you because I'm on a video. But uh, if the answer is no, then uh, this is something that you really might want to consider. Now, um, I am going to summarize. Uh, in, in essence, you want uh, the Google business profile. You want uh, keywords, more keywords, and you want more backlinks. That's what you want on your website. And these are things that you can implement this afternoon if you wanted to. Now, uh, we can help you make these changes uh, with the goal of getting you more customers, new customers. And Megan will be following up with you to get some uh, feedback from you about the ideas that I've discussed with you in this video. So uh, I just want to thank you for your time, Nuri. I hope you have a great rest of your day.